Welcome to Front Room TV. My name's Sam, alias Preacher. My name's Dave, alias Bishop. Cool. So, it's Dave, how, how, how long we known each other now? Boy, that's, that's going back a minute, man. Uh, school. School, Wait, school, school together. School days, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. William yeah. Penn. William Penn. Red Post Hill. Red Post Hill. <laughs> they call, call, call it first year. First yeah. year, isn't it? That's right. They say yeah. year seven now, that's isn't right. it? We used yeah. to call it first, first year. year. That's right, that's right. <laughs> so that means that we're about, what, 50? Yeah, 50-odd, 50 50 50 50 50 52, 50 53. Yeah, 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 up there somewhere, man. Oh, yeah. How long have you been married? A few years, man. Few years yeah, yeah. Few Cause years, I've been man. married a few years. Yeah, children. Yeah, yeah children. Yeah. Uh, all big adults now. Everybody's doing their thing. So yeah, it's good. All as well. Yeah, man, man. I, I remember. I remember back in school they used to have, remember our head head of the year, head of the year, head of the year. Marsh, Marsh, beard, Marsh. pipe, yeah, beard, Marsh. Yeah, Marsh. yeah. One I day I was in class, man. That was funny. I was in <laughs> class. I think it was English. Okay. And somebody comes around and uh, says, uh, passes a message to the teacher. Facey, you've got to go and see Marsh after the pips go on for that oh, lesson. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I remember going down to his office and you know he used to sit in his chair. Yeah. He used to have his pipe. That's right, yeah. yeah. his pipe. Yeah. So he's, he's puffing on his pipe. Boy, they'd be banned today. Absolutely. Can't do that now. Absolutely. But he's, he's blowing his pipe then. Yeah. So, he's, uh, so he looks up at me and I, I'm looking at him and I'm saying, why has he called me? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm standing there. I've got my uniform on, tie yeah. on, everything's Chris. Yeah. So I'm looking at him and then he looks at me and says, uh, Facey. <laughs> you are going to be an anti-societist. <laughs> <laughs> <Did he? laughs> Crazy yeah, man. Yeah. And I, I, rem I, remember, I remember looking at him and I said to myself, um, what does that mean? Yeah. But anyway, I rejected it because um, yeah. my mum and my dad told me I can, I can be anything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it went in and out. And out, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like most of school. And mate. then, and then when he when he finished, I just, yeah. I just left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. rejecting that man. Yeah, I think, I think. Uh, to be fair, I think um, back in those days, I think a lot of teachers were responsible for shaping our futures, and I think a lot of them shaped it in a negative way, you know. Um, and and I think it's through maybe the upbringing that we had, because certainly I was one of them from that generation that had to go to church on a Sunday. I had to be up, go Sunday school. In fact, my dad used to drive the Sunday school. Bishop, man, we yeah. all went to yeah. <laughs> Listen, remember, you had, a, you had a Peckham man. Yeah, that's yeah? right, man. And you had a Brixton man. That's right, yeah, so mate. That was Peckham man. My, my yeah. house is 37 Healy from sure, Brixton Hill. Yeah. That's yeah. my house. I yeah. lived there for 20 odd years. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. a Brixton yeah. boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I remember, I remember once, um, you remember we used to have a little sound thing? Yeah, 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 yeah man. So yeah. My, my little sound was called uh, Sammy International. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know. Sammy yeah, International. You know, oh, you, know you remember, you remember, a little yeah, yeah, box I do. and a couple I do. of bits and pieces. I do, yeah. man, I Sammy do. International was my I sound. I did, man. I did. But sometimes yeah. when we used to, when we used to, uh, uh, duck and dive, you know, yeah. outside mum's house, we might be doing this, we might be doing this, yeah. and blah, blah, blah. We always used to see people on a Saturday night. Remember the Sunday night church? Yeah, yeah. 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 Saturday night church. Everybody. Yeah. Was there. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So you walk into a church yeah. meeting. He's... <laughs> or the yeah. bad man from Penn. Or the bad man. Or the bad man from William Penn. Or line up in the back row. Or line up in yeah. the back row. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I you know what that. the good thing is when you came back to school yeah. on a Monday, mm. yeah, everybody's yeah. calm now. Yeah, it was no yeah. drama. Yeah. No, it's true. Church, yeah. it was mm. church. Yeah. Trying to get girls' numbers. Yeah. yeah remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not, not girlfriends, it was yeah. girls' numbers. numbers yeah. yeah, girls' yeah. numbers. Yeah. Oh, I've got a girl's number, you know, yeah, I've got yeah. girls' numbers. Not checking the girl yeah. or going out with a girl. It was girls' numbers. <laughs> yeah. And the joke was, and the joke was it was it wasn't the girls' numbers, it was their parents' phone number <laughs> in the house. <laughs> so you rang that number, it'd be the dad or the yeah, mum yeah, answering yeah, the phone, yeah, just yeah, not yeah. her phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah. before mobile phones, man. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. So, 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 so it was girl, the girls' numbers. Yeah, yeah. And then it was, what's the other one? It was music. Music, of course. We, we, yeah. we all love music. Music, yeah, man. music was a big influence for me, man. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. I think, I think I remember. I remember actually, it was in Penn. I remember um, wanting to play drums, and uh, in, in 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 my church we had um, the drummer who used to play for that that group back in the in the early seventies called the Harmonizers, and those guys were um, apparently the, the organist. If I remember rightly, was approached by the Beatles. Um, yeah, back in the day, Is yeah, that? yeah, it was, it was Dougie, Dougie, Dougie yeah, Wallace. D Dougie Wallace. Yeah, I think he was approached by the Beatles. They they heard heard them play somewhere and was really really impressed, and so didn't wanted that kind of sound in their in their group. Um, but anyway, I'm saying that to say this that it's quite interesting because I grew up watching this this man play the drums, and uh, he used to play the drums for the harmonizers back in the day, and um, 
very, very gifted drummer, man. Really, really good. And so I, I used to see this man play all the time. And I, and I remember going to school one day and saying, you know what, we got a, we got a music, a music uh, block. And um, I remember us having a music teacher inside there. And, but he was, a, he was a classical man. He used to play the violin. That was his gig. And I remember going to him and saying, oh, sir, you know, I'd like to play the drums, you know. So uh, one day I was able to get out of the English lesson and go along to, to start looking at drums. And I, but by this time, I could already play drums because I was watching this guy in church, you know. And uh, I remember, it was quite really, really vividly, but I remember the teacher coming into the classroom, sitting down in this mash-up kit. You know, you know, school never had nothing. Nothing was good. Everything was mash-up. And this really destroyed kit. And uh, he said to me, right, um, so I'm going to teach you how to play drums. But he couldn't play drums himself. <laughs> and I thought, how's that going to work, you know? So um, he, he taught me about timings and all the rest of it. But he didn't, he, you know, you can just imagine full beard, um, tie really tight. He was, he was a war man, you know, so his shiny shoes, all that kind of stuff. I can't remember his name, but he had had no skill for drums and he wasn't inspiring. Um, and I remember going back to church and seeing this guy play during the conventions and stuff we used to have, you know, and um, saying to myself, you know, I really wanted to play drums. And then I just started the whole thing at home, man. Knives and forks, chairs, pillowcases with, with bits, bits of wood and started the whole thing going, man. And that's where it started, man. So it was good, good, good. And, and he inspired me, man. Lloyd Grossett was his name. Yeah? Yeah. T t I remember we had a conversation in the past about this story about Demon. Tell, tell, tell me about oh, how, yeah, how that went. Man. How yeah, that, 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 was, that was a minute ago that was, mate. You know, it's funny because you, you kind of you kind of look back at church life as being a place that you really have a lot of fun. And I think, um, you know, when, when we started, because it was myself, my brother, and a couple of other guys, Lennox and Leah, that were, were the younger ones coming through with instruments. And so Lennox got, got himself a bass guitar. My brother got a, a rhythm guitar. So that's Kojic, Fenton Road, right? Yeah, Fenton Road, Kojic, yeah. yeah. And then uh, Leo had a guitar and, and Lennox had a bass guitar. And so I, I kind of moved on to the drums. And um, really interesting because at that time, we were being influenced by everybody that was playing Earth, Wind and Fire, Luther Vandross, um, Level 42, Shack Attack, um, all of those guys, Maze, were influencing all of us. And so, of course, what you would be doing when you got home, you'd listen to the radio, record it, because back in the day you could press record on the, on the cassette machines and, um, and record. And so we would learn a lot of their licks. And then we would bring those licks to the songs in church on a Sunday. And of course, they'd be singing church songs. And you're just, you just, you're really, you know, you've, you've learned a lick and you want to bring it out, you know, on Sunday to church. And, um, I remember there was one, one day I was playing the kit and I was really going for it, really playing, really... I thought I was playing well. I thought I was playing really well. Really, really well. And uh, I turned my head and my eyes looked across the pews and my eyes made forward another lady. And um, she looked at me and she goes... <laughs> as to say, this is rubbish, man. This is absolute rubbish, you know. <laughs> Stop playing, you know. So I thought to myself, it's crazy. And, and, and it, it just so, so it's kind of deflated you, if that makes any sense, you know. Because you think you're doing really, really well. And all of a sudden you see somebody and just, they're just looking at you like this and they're going, this isn't good. This just isn't good, you know. It just, it just breaks you up. And so, but it, I learned some lessons from that, though, because I think it's how church boys are made. You with me? It wasn't always well done, you've done really well. Sometimes it was you're not playing well enough, stop playing. <laughs> you with me? Yeah, you're not man. good enough. Yeah. yeah, go and practice some more before you come back and destroy the service. Yeah, you Pastor with me? Pastor Wright was known yeah. for that, bro. <laughs> really, yeah. <laughs> stop the music. <laughs> yeah, there you go, man. There you go. Yeah. So it's been a it's been a it's been a journey. Been a journey. Been a journey. Been a journey, man. So it's been good. It's been good, but it's definitely been a journey. You definitely develop um, you develop tenacity, you develop strength, you develop backbone. Yeah. You know, and I think, and I think that's what those early days really gave us um, as young guys growing up in the church circles, you know. Um, you know, uh, because you got rejections, you know. Sometimes you, somebody will come up and they'd, they'd, they'd be asked to do something and they decide to sing and they can't really hold the notes properly. And of course, you're there trying to play for somebody who can't really sing in tune. And of course, I remember one particular in event, this person changed the notes <coughs> 13 times in one song. So you can imagine. So they went up the keys. They kept on going up the keys, kept they on going up the keys. Yeah, yeah, going up, down, up, down. And, and, then, and then when you can't follow them, they look at you like you're the one who's wrong. <laughs> Is it one of those ones also when they, they sing in between the keys? Yes, it, that's yeah, it, so yeah. There's no <laughs> note, there's no note there. There's no note on the fretboard. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But yeah, that was a, those are good days. And I think looking back now, as I said before, I think looking back now, 
It's where the strengths come from. That, that, that's how you face situations that sometimes would knock somebody over, yeah? You are knocked over, but you get back up again. You with me? And I think it's those days that gave you those strengths. And I learned a lot from those days, to be fair. Sunday school taught me an awful lot. You with me? We had some great times, we had some bad times. Um, and, and we developed some really good friendship with a lot of guys and girls back in those days, man. Um, you know, uh, we, 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 we created our own band. So uh, when I was 13, 14 years of age, probably even before that actually, we were saving our little pocket money and going to recording studios. So we were recording music in professional recording studios from the age of 10, 11, 12, 13, which is crazy, you know? Um, so it's something that we've always been around and always been trying to write our own songs and create our own music. It's been good, it's been good, how about yourself? Man, you, well, you know, well, you, yeah, you know, man. absolutely, well, man, you, absolutely. You, you guys had the organ and the yeah, keyboards, that's right. Yeah, man. the Hammond, you know? yeah, 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 the drums. We, 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 we were the, we were the, the number twos, man. Yeah. We, we, we played at all the churches that yeah. didn't have music. Right, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, the tambourines so, yeah, man. and the hand clap. We, we played with, um, I used to play with um, Mark Nixon, Bishop Mark Nixon. Okay. And I'm yeah, telling yeah. you now, there isn't, there wasn't anybody in South London yeah. that can hold a rhythm guitar like him. Really? Yeah. yeah. He could play, he can play rhythm, yeah. lead, bass. Really? On his own guitar. Wow. Because he tuned his guitar in, in such a way that yeah. it was unique to yeah. him. Yeah. So he could cover all the frequencies. Wow. But mm. the killer is, yeah. with myself, I come to it on bass. Okay, okay. And you remember, I don't know if you remember Alan Goldborn from yes. the school. Alan Goldborn. Yes. Yeah, so us three, man. Yeah, us three used mm. to play. So we played at all the, the services right. that didn't in that have network. music. Yeah. In that network that yeah. didn't have music. And I think one year, I recall that outside of Christmas, we played every single Saturday, most Saturdays and most Fridays for a whole year. Wow. And what used to happen, when invitations were sent to, to um, Mark's dad, mm. um, there used to be a little note at the bottom of the invitation, can yeah. Mark come along yeah. and play the music? Wow. So he used to call us, yeah. if we're free, mm. come down and play with him. Wow. So one year, I think, the majority of the Saturdays, we played for a whole year. And wow. I think, I came from the Bible True Church of God, which right. is based in um, Brixton. Yeah. We call it the Zinc Church. Yeah, that's right. Remember and it, my, man. my bishops uh, were Bishop Fagan mm. um, and Bishop Crutcher. Right, yeah, yeah. And no, they most. loved music. Yeah. They loved music. Mm. They loved mm. music. Mm. If music wasn't running in church mm. Mm. properly, yeah. Yeah, to make them happy first yeah. and then everybody else happy, yeah. stop. The yeah. music. <laughs> really? and what, yeah, yeah. And what they used to do is to make sure that mm. you're you're tuned. Yeah. So Elder Brown used to be the band leader. Yeah. And he used to make they used to stop the service, make sure that everybody's tuned mm. before the service started again. Wow. And and Pastor Fagan in particular, he he wasn't happy until people are jumping all over the place. Seriously. Yeah. yeah that, then then he's <laughs> he's into it because yeah. he used to let the music flow. Okay. Yeah, okay. So one chorus, you're singing a chorus for about you know. 10, 15, 20 Really? Years. Wow. And in our church, we used to have a red carpet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Red yeah. carpet. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, yeah, the, the pews yeah, on the, left on the and side, right. yeah. and you had a red carpet in the middle. Yeah. I'm telling you, sometimes you walk into church, or you'll be in church, and mm. you just see mist. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seriously? Mist. Yeah, mist, yeah. Mist, mist, mist. So where's the mist coming from? Where's yeah. the mist coming from? When you look, when you look down at the red carpet, <laughs> yeah, it's, every, it's everybody's, everybody's footprints. <laughs> yeah, those were the days, man. Yeah. And yeah. the dust. Yeah, and just, just start to flow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah. starts to flow over the place, man. So if you were, you were, you were yeah, somebody that. that didn't know and you walked yeah. in, you said, well, what's going on here? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. And I said, yeah. some so it was good days. Yeah. And obviously yeah. we learned to play as mm. musicians. Mm. Mm. And so that, so those were good days. And mm. we thank mm. those those pastors who mm. had, Pioneers, and man. bishops who mm. had the the um, insight, the insight mm. into allowing us to, to play music mm. and mm. Uh, incorporate music into worship mm. because music kept me in church. Mm. If I'm I think I think I think that's a great I think that's a great point actually. I think a lot of those guys um, really did really did catch the vision. They they realised you know because I, I look back now and I remember I remember one Christmas or no it wasn't Christmas I think it was a birthday. It might have been a birthday or a Christmas. I remember I remember coming downstairs. We used to live there in Peckham, and um, myself, and my brother, we opened the front room, which was that room that was always under lock and key. Yeah, yeah. It looked a little bit like this, actually, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, the cabinet and everything. I remember one Christmas um, we went downstairs, and uh, uh, Dad said to us, "Oh, just go in the front room." And surprisingly, it was open. So we opened the door and went in, and um, there was a stack of drums from the floor to ceiling. 
and leaned, leaned on it was a guitar, a Weststone Active guitar. I think it was the guitar that was my, my, my brother got and uh, I got a drum kit. And, uh, and I think that was the start of it, to be fair, you know? Um, and it's a great insight because it's how you captivate and include young ones. You with me? Because, um, um, you know, you come to church because you want to do something. You want to be a part of something. And everybody can't be preachers. Everybody can't be teachers. Everybody can't be, you know, in, in, in those capacities. You do need musicians. You do need singers. You need all those other things as well. And those guys saw it, you know. Uh, my father and all dad rank in, um, you know, invested a lot in his kids and, and teaching them, you know, getting them to learn keyboards and, all, and piano and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, very valuable, very, very valuable time. So, yeah, great insight, man. And I think, to be fair, I think that investment is what's taken us on the journey that we've been on, you know. Um, so today we're sitting down and we're, and we're now looking at Front Room TV and reminiscing on some of the journeys that took us to where we are today and it's quite interesting. Yeah, we've been, we've, it's, it's, it's been a blast, man, it's been a blast. <laughs>